Ever wished for a secret sauce to supercharge your outbound messages and actually get replies? Well, today I'm unveiling my six step mastery for personalizing emails and LinkedIn messages that's sure to get you some engagement. <laughs> So from absolute game changers to trusty backup moves, this guide is ready to rocket boost your strategy. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. I'm just warming my voice up. Let's dive in and rank them, starting with the gold mine and cruising down to your ever reliable backup. Step one is self-authored content. So this is content that the individual crafted with passion themselves. It's so personal, they put their hearts into it, recognizing their effort creates instant rapport. So if you're prospecting ahead of BDR, you could say, loved your post on how effective videos are in transmitting emotions. Wonder if your reps are leveraging video prospection in their outbound campaigns. Step two is engaged content. So this is content they've actively engaged with. So likes, comments, shares, that kind of thing. And it showcases their interests and priorities. Boom, just like that. Targeting this shows you've done your homework. For example, notice you commented on the post about email deliverability. The post didn't mention the best solution is an email warm up tool, so on and so on and so on. Now here, just as a side note, make sure not to be creepy. Do your homework, but don't be like, hey, you don't know me, but I know what you've been doing online. Want to buy some stuff? Like sort of thing. Like, no, that's going to look weird and it's going to make them feel uncomfortable. Moving on, step three, self-identified trait. This is information they openly share about themselves, normally on their LinkedIn. Directly referencing their words builds a powerful bridge of understanding. People like hearing about things that they've written themselves. For example, you mentioned you're helping SDRs build more pipeline. Curious if your current setup is allowing your team to hit those SQL targets or if you're running into problems like low reply rates. Step four, junk draw. Now these ones can go either way. Diving into personal interests, hobbies, and affiliations, it's unexpected and humanizes the conversation. You could use, for example, as a football fan from Argentina, what's more stressful, SDRs not hitting targets or watching Messi take a penalty in the World Cup final. Now, just as a side note, this one works, and I know because I've used it myself. Uh, this one actually booked a meeting, so there's a real world example you guys can use yourself, get inspo from it and apply it. Lots of experts will say to keep it professional, but if you do do this properly, the VPs and CEOs are humans too, so you can actually have a little bit of fun. Step number five is back Background centric, so exploring their career traje traje trajectory, exploring their career traje trajectory. Oh God, why can't I say this bit? Um, Five hours later. Exploring their career trajectory and company shifts. That's a hard word to say. The reason this works is because it shows genuine interest in their journey. You might even uncover something they hadn't thought of in their new role, and that is an absolute goldmine. E.g., notice you've moved from sales to SDR management. How are you ensuring your SDRs book enough SQLs to avoid low pipe gen in the sales team? Don't overcomplicate that one, just keep it simple, and that's the best way to go. Step number six, company centric. Now this is the last one, news directly linked to their company. Congratulating company milestones, for example, is a huge nod of respect. It normally makes these people feel good, especially if they're involved in the decision-making processes. E.g., congrats on launching your new data tool. Wondered how your SDRs are targeting your ICP at scale post-launch. And this one's last because mostly people resonate the least with it. It's just the least personal approach of the six. So there you go, my six steps to personalization. Remember, perfection takes practice. You're aiming for engagement for that spark. Start slowly, and then with a bit of time, you'll be drafting these with finesse, and flair. No more sitting on the sidelines. You've turned yourself into a game changer. Incredible. Share this with a colleague who'd benefit. If you've hit a roadblock with your targets, fire up a message in the comments below and let's find the solution together. Thank you for watching this episode of Inside Outbound. If this hit the nail on the head, smash the like, share and subscribe for more explosive insights. Ciao.